Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all doing today? Um, are we coming through good? Yeah, we're coming through good. I think we're coming through good. Good. So, um, I guess you know who myself and Pontus are by now. If you don't, quick recap if you're new. Graham, community manager. Pontus, community manager. But we have another guy sat between us. Yeah, I've seen this one who, who is this person and yeah. what are they doing in our studio? Um, like to introduce yourself, perhaps. Sure. Yes. Um, hi, guys. My name is Francesco. And uh, I'm uh, the new uh, game designer for the Hunter Classic. Mm -hmm. That's pretty mm -hmm. amazing. Yes, yes. Thank you. So, I mean, you've obviously been working on the recent updates, which is going to be the, the, the Turkey refresh and the changes to the Rusta and the Samba and new blinds That's and correct. other ideas going forward. I mean, I see someone in there in chat says Classic won't get any major updates in the future, I think. Yeah. What do you do every day then if we're not having any updates? Exactly. I mean, we just released one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So fear not, it's plenty coming. Uh, Pontus, yeah. can you scooch on a little bit more? A little yeah, bit. I'm, I'm cutting over. Trying to see, ah, no? get as little of us chopped off as possible. Um, so yeah, uh, we have Francisco here today. So if you have any questions, fire away and we will answer the ones that we want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, please do hit us with questions and uh, Francisco will be very pleased to get to know you all. Yep, yep. Uh, if you're going to, this one from Susan, if there's going to be new animals, what would we like? Mm-hmm. Well, um, we are, I, I can say that uh, we are uh, working on a new animal. I cannot say which animal Ooh. that it's going to be. Mm. But uh, yes, um, I think that's uh, something that can be expected. Yes. Okay. So you heard it here first. There are, is a new animal in the pipeline. Yes. Man, you got some fans here already, Francesco. <laughs> Love you, Francesco. Your yeah. work is amazing. Oh, Says thank you, evil guy. Evil guy. Mm. So, um, if you're on the forums, you'll also see you on the forums. You've been around on the forums as well. Yes. So, uh, yes, keep, an out for forums. keep an eye out for Francesco there. Uh, as for what we're doing on the game today, um, as Francesco mentioned a minute ago, we just had a release just recently. Last week, I showed you Turkey, or at least the two I was able to find. No, no I've got three in the end, I think. Uh, today, we're going to try out the new blind on uh, Ruguru Bayou. So this is the um, the new vegetation blind that's been introduced. So it comes to benefits of being able to fit more friends in, which is pretty sweet. But also in terms of the design of it, uh, each of the three, there is three. One which is uh, designed for Pikmin Bay. One for Hirschfelden and this one on Rugru Bayou. Each one is designed sort of to blend with the native vegetation and environment. So on this one, you have these sort of bulrushes here and uh, all that nice stuff. That's awesome. So um, yeah, so this is one of the first things that you've been uh, doing. Yeah, for the, the idea is that um, that's what um, many un hunters do in real life. Mm -hmm. uh, they bring their own waterfall blinds and then on the spot. And they can collect some vegetations and decorate the waterfall blind to make it blend in the environment even better. Mm. You know, if you see some of uh, in photographic references that uh, uh, of this uh, waterfall blinds in real life, mm. some of them are blending so perfectly you can barely see them. Yeah, yeah. You know, they just look like a big bush or part of the environment. Yeah. So we wanted to do something along those lines. And um, you know, obviously, I as you mentioned, there are three flavors at the moment, uh, and each one of these waterfall blinds is decorated with vegetations from the environment where it's supposed to be used. Uh, so specifically, in this case, you're you're in a in a swamp. Yeah. You get cattail, you know, and ty other types of grass that grows in a swamp. That that uh, duck just yeah, tried just to run me over. <laughs> <see that? laughs> it uh, came right so th I've got, th I mean, I've got like a bajillion and one decoys out here. So while we're busy talking away, they're actually all coming into us uh, just while we're hanging out here. So this is also the new shotguns yeah, yeah. that you introduced. Here you go. No, I don't go. Oh, rubbish! See, this is I've been using the ten gauge, the lever action, so I can just throw throw shot down down range. I need to use a little bit more bit more skill with two two shots. Um, any new weapons in the plan? I mean, we won't go into specifics about what's coming up, but we, I mean, we can say that Francisco is being kept very busy. So. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, that's correct. Mm -hmm. 
Classic really needs a new map to help keep the flow going. We, we only mm -hmm. we only have twelve to choose from. Yeah, that's yeah, it's <laughs> 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 nothing. Uh, where where would you like to see uh, Dag four hundred three? Where would you like to see us go next if uh, there was to be a new map for Classic? Need to check where I've where I've put my uh, calls here. So I've got short range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that, that's actually a very good question. Which kind of map would you like? Would you guys like to see? You know. Um, not promising anything because that's, uh, as you can understand, that's r a big undertaking, uh, a totally new reserve. But we are always listening, and you know we always keep an eye on on the wishes that are expressed on the various communities, uh, be it on the forums or Discord, um, on the Steam discussion board. So we always keep an eye, always keeping an eye on those. Uh, uh, it's always good to know what the community wants, what are the most wanted mm. in, in items as well as in reserves. I saw a good question from Mr. Belden there actually. Um, I've noticed this myself. So we obviously we had the changeover quite recently from the paid memberships to the more sort of fully free to play model. There's still some references like uh, to memberships in the game still, like free replacement ammo and other such things. Is that something that we're going to look at cleaning them up a little bit? I think on the website particularly we need to do some Definitely, touch, definitely. Know. That's on our list. Nice. Uh, we've already cleaned up the um, the Steam homepage. Mm -hmm. There were references to licenses. Yeah. Uh, that's fixed now. And so, yeah, slowly but surely they will disappear uh, all around the board. Mm. Great. Is Francesco new to Team So welcome. Yes, Francesco is somewhat new. I mean, not entirely new. You've been behind the scenes cooking up things, but you kind of poked your head above the uh, trenches just in the last month or so, I guess, or a couple of months. Mm. 308 needs a buff. Uh, so you've got some agreement there. Yeah. People would like 308 to see some attention, apparently. Mm. That would be interesting. But this is all the great feedback that Francesco would love to see, um, you know. Not just about new content, but what kind of uh, existing content do yeah, you think could use some tweaks. attention? Or Absolutely, a as mm. well as uh, bug fixes. We're always looking in into bug fixes. So I you know if you guys have some bug that you think it's uh, uh, important to fix that you would like to see it fixed, we're listening. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think a few weeks ago we posted a. Uh, 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 a thread on the forum asking what are the top three bugs that annoy you you know if you could only pick three mm. um, and then we have had a lot of uh, responses there and it helps us focus on the right things it helps us focus on what people want to get fixed so make sure to scoot over and uh, look at that and, and if you haven't wrote uh, your top three bugs there go ahead and do that as we said, it means a lot to get the inspiration and maybe direction from you guys. So we really yes. appreciate it. Oh, look at the rainbow. Hey there, Darren. Oh, that's a nice rainbow. Maybe mm -hmm. make the rare fur variants easier to distinguish between commons would help too. Yeah, that's good input, evil guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, Graham Pontus has, be has been brought to my attention oh. from new players to the game who watch me and ask me questions on why when there is a sale on it only for EMs and not for GMs, all right. Um, I mean, understandably, EMs is the prime, the um, premium currency, which yeah. keeps the lights on and the servers paid for. <laughs> um, so, I mean, the intention is not to, although we don't want it to be sort of an aggressive free-to-pay model where people have to spend the fortunes, we do need to kind of incentivize the fact that some of you out there will need to be paying at some point to, you know, keep this great game alive and running. Um, so yeah, I don't think we'll never see GM sales, put it this way. But as of now, it's obviously something to try and incentivize those who are wanting to spend the M's to uh, try out new items, etc. Yeah. No worries, evil guy. All right, so if do you hear me better now? Yeah. If I maybe correct this a bit, I could try to just squeeze that up, and hopefully you can hear me now. Sport for choice here. Which one am I going to miss? <laughs> Which one do I want to miss first? Oh, jeez. I was close anyway. There, there we go. go. There we go. 
change files that it's out it's gone Loud I love clear. the sound on that one thank though. you Jeremy okay so we got two my uh, my leading game isn't good I need my this mouse Pontus has mentioned before. I'm gonna blame the tools, like any work, <laughs> like any workman should. The sensitivity is uh, through the roof. Can this? Doesn't adjust on the fly, does it? No. I, I'm one of these people that has my mouse where you have to go like this across the entire desk for it to move anything. So this was uh, kind of interesting, uh, Francesco. Um, have you ever thought about explore new companion ideas, like uh, new dog breeds, or I don't know what other kind of companions you you hamster with. a hunting hamster a would hunting be cool hamster. i guess yeah. i guess they could just <laughs> go and retrieve the butterflies or whatever <laughs> you manage to i i can only say that uh, yes we have thought about it um yeah my lips are kind of sealed i'm sorry about this guys i i can't reveal too much but yes this is something that it's been you know it's been in the talking all right, that's uh, interesting. Mm. There ferrets you go, ferrets would says be Darren. Yeah. Is that common f yeah. to, to yeah. hunt with we ferrets? We use ferrets in the UK. Um, what about falconry? There we go. Now mm. we're starting to get <laughs> serious here. <laughs> <laughs> that could yes. be its own uh, game. Yeah, a game within a game. Yes. <coughs> be bad in multiplayer, <laughs> though, when someone pulls out their 10 gauge on your on your beautiful prize oh falcon. No. <laughs> 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 Sorry, you were going to say something yeah. there, Francisco. Yeah. I just wanted to add, uh, I think something that we didn't mention about the waterfall blind earlier mm. in is that, as you guys might know, as you uh, classic player might know, oh, there is, there was already a waterfall blind uh, model and uh, there are many differences, both in the, in the visuals and uh, one big difference in gameplay is that this waterfall blind, the new one, can accommodate four people in yes. multiplayer as opposed to three or, or the old one. Uh, four people or three people into dogs. Mm -hmm. So you can bring your dogs to the chase as well. Yeah, I always bring my dog with me because I'm lazy. I don't want to go and pick them all up afterwards. So uh, yeah, perfect having them along. Actually, I mean, multiplayer was my the first time I ever played duck hunting on Classic, actually, because many years ago when I first started, I was like, oh, yeah, we want to shoot some ducks. And then I was going through the store thinking, oh, I'm going to have to buy this, I'm going to have to buy this. Multiplayer, go find a buddy, check an online game, and you can try it out for free. I mean, that's a nice thing about Classic. Yeah. You know, if you, if you don't have all these goodies and you're just getting in new, but you want to try different styles of hunting, uh, look on multiplayer games. There's bound to be someone friendly there who will uh, let you try out their setup. Um, maybe they have some nice stands that you can make use of mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely it's, it's been the same for me as a player mm. um also because uh, attracting ducks sometimes takes two colors and you know of course you have yeah. to shoot them so it's easier to do it when you have more players uh, you know people helping you out uh in the waterfall blind so somebody might use the long range caller another one can use the short range caller another one shoots them or you just do everything terribly like I'm doing right now. Yeah, multitasking. Uh, after the stream, I'm going straight to Web Holland and I'm buying a <laughs> mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Terrible. We can't let the ducks win. Well, the no, ducks we are can. winning right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that much. It's okay. You know how it goes with my streams. Like, uh, I'll end up hitting like, one animal, but then it'll be at a... Uh, Absolute beast. That that turkey I got last week was mm -hmm. pretty yeah, decent. Uh, Francesco is Italian. Mm. Yeah, uh, I'm reading one of the questions. <laughs> Graham missed his shooting too. I was going to say, that was exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. <laughs> Orby says, I missed Graham shooting. I was like, yes, I missed my shooting too. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> do you know about the sunglasses glitch where if you buy black sunglasses, they're clear when you put them on? That we do not, Hunter. Do they fix themselves if you sort of press Z and Z again? Um, as in, is it a permanent fix or is it just that initial time you equip them? Uh, otherwise, we will uh, get that looked at for sure. Yep. Hey, Mikkel from YouTube. Nice to see you too, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, charming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so someone needs a hug, clearly. Well, we'll, we'll fix that. Yeah, we get a <laughs> lot of love for you, Mikkel. <laughs> Have you enough spinning wing dicks? <laughs> 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 
I think I think no. Uh, there is not enough. Yeah. Uh, there can <laughs> always be more. This is what happens when you have a developer M and GM account. <laughs> 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 no, I think I think I put this up free. originally when we were first showing them off. So I went I went nuts with them. And it was, uh, mm. That is an interesting thought, McMarvin. But also, if you there's a lot of people don't play missions either. What is the thought? The Just thought in case people on YouTube don't. See the the thought is about the new structure where you would get stuck if you didn't really complete the mission. You couldn't go on except you like unlock a weapon mm. or certain thing like that. And that would work if it was a, a bit more linear kind of game. But here, if you don't want to do missions, you could just scoot out the first thing you do and, and go hunt. Mm. Personally speaking, I, I really, nine times out of ten when I've played Classic, I have this goal of doing a mission. Uh, it's it's kind of like playing so Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Like, I'm going to do this thing, and then in 10 minutes later, cars are exploding. And Except in this case, it's me walking across, chasing something completely random. Um, so big respect to people who can uh, keep the attention span to do emissions. <laughs> I get so distracted by, oh, what's that over there? There's a deer call in that direction. And, yeah. Have you seen the glitch where if you jump from something it will make a spike come out of your left leg and it looks slightly weird? That sounds very painful. It. Yeah, it sounds like someone broke a leg. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> no, me like I've never heard one. about it before. Hmm. Is it possible to fix the glitch where animals get stuck on cliffs, making them unharvestable? Yes, um, of course everything is possible. Uh, one of the most mentioned uh, bugs that we got from um, uh, from that forum post that I was mentioning earlier is actually the uh, inability to harvest animals sometimes. So this is something that we're looking into. <laughs> Can you hug the game designer for doing great work? <laughs> yeah, we will do that, Aiden. We will do that. <laughs> Can send him a cyber hug as well. Those ones were not interested. They didn't like my army of ducks. No? They just uh, flew by? Mm. Yeah, one brand one box of 30 and another seven. Yeah, I, I get what you mean there, Varmint Man. It'd be nice to be able to consolidate them a little bit. Yeah, stack mm -hmm. it. I read that before, yeah. Mm. Got some way off in the distance over there. They're not coming my way. Thanks, the new turkey. You're welcome, Ron. Cheers. Are you going to remake Hunter Primal? No plans. Um, Hunter Primal has now been sunsetted. Yep. Go to if you want to see Primal, go to YouTube. I think it, that's the place where mm. where it will live on. Yeah, there's still plenty of people playing actually. Interesting though. Come down. Or we can have um, a time machine that brings the hunter back, like fifty thousand years. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, <laughs> 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 and hunt dinosaurs. Uh, what are your thoughts about adding a fishing mechanic to the game? The issue with that is, you know, to do it properly and to make it worth our time and your time to play, it wouldn't need to be a mechanic. It would need to be an o like ver worthy of it being a game in its own right. I mean, there's so many good uh, fishing games out there, so we'd have to make a reason why you'd want to do an R game over these other ones. In which case, it's going to need a lot of attention and would pretty much be a game within a game, I would yeah. think. But a fishing game would be awesome. Man. They're telling you to use the comeback caller. Yeah, I'm so distracted with the talking. I did bring it with me, but um, they're too far. Oh, quack, 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 surprise quack. duck! See, you worked. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bust myself for one. These ones are coming in there. Are you gonna land already? Oh, got that one. Mm -hmm. Take off. Where's the other one? Ah. Dang it. It just bumped my mouse as I pulled the trigger on that second one. You're yeah, too that's far. That damn mouse. It's too far. Maybe that'll that's throw why just I in get case. run Sorry? over by the water buffaloes all the time. Well, this, this is the only reason I'm shooting ducks, Pontus, is because that I cannot be killed by them, <laughs> and therefore me making fun of you being run over well. by the water buffalo is fine. <laughs> 
How hard do you think it would be to make the game VR compatible? I mean, when Classic came out, VR was still consisting of like green lines on a screen. <laughs> I, I honestly don't think you're going to see a, a Hunter Classic VR anytime soon, I'm sorry to say. It's not often we say, you know, never on things. We always keep things open, but I'm pretty convinced Hunter Classic VR is not going to happen, unfortunately. Or that would be a blast to do such a thing. Mm -hmm. It would be. Mm. Man, Darren is just providing you with so many good duck tips here. Need to give about four duck yeah. lengths of lead, lead at that <laughs> range. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm normally in my element with a bow and a turkey. You know that one, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> that you are. That you are. Bloomy eighty nine is asking, could you try and add squirrels? You mean mm. as uh, as some animal to hunt? Plenty yeah. of folks in uh, the U.S. do hunt squirrels, yeah. mm -hmm. either for food or just because they're annoying them when they're sat in their deer stand and they think it's a buck charging through the woods towards them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like a squirrel you can take out with a two-two, or maybe even add like a little yeah. one-seven-seven air rifle or something. That'd be pretty, pretty fun. Yeah, structure. critters overall, I think, would make the world a bit mm. more alive. Maybe squirrels and slingshots. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then we're seven. back to the, the, the Graham's barn. Yes, <laughs> I want my barn. I, I've said it a million times. I want. I want a sort of a side map, which is actually set indoors. You're inside a big barn, and you can set up with an air rifle and just like shoot rats running across the rafters uh, and things. We I have a barn in uh, Settlers Creek. Yes, yeah, so we need <laughs> an indoor <laughs> map of that basically. A bigger barn where you can set up yeah. inside of it and uh, do like pest control with an air rifle. I'd have tons of fun doing that. Somebody wrote, ID97 wrote, I hope you will do better on pheasants shooting in England. Well, that, I to be fair, it's been a long time since I've done that as well. So uh, I will definitely be getting some practice at the range before I start aiming at anything real. It looks like I'm going to get a mono duck here. Oops. Hello, oh. Lauris. Hello, hello, buddy. Where did your buddy go? <laughs> Miles away. I'm not gonna, not gonna pull a trigger on that one. But yeah, this of course is a new skin. Um, oops. Looking nice. This came out also with the update recently. Mm -hmm. We also fixed the um, bug with this gun, where uh, it the the pointer. Yeah, the bead on the end was was a little crooked. Just slightly, but you know, like my shooting. Big. <laughs> 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 Maybe that's why you know you were used to the. Uh, to the yeah, I, I, I was yeah. used to the angle one. I'm, I'm going to stick uh, with that. That's yeah. it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Was that Pontus? We still quiet. What? We no, I, quiet? Uh, I I had to cough. Oh. Okay. Cough, fill cough. Uh, White Hunter will keep questions here for Hunter Classic yes. Day only, please. It's Classic Thursday. Yes. yes, and again, if anyone has come in late and who is wondering who everybody is, myself, game uh, community manager, Ponce community manager, and a special guest today is uh, Francesco, the game designer. Yeah. So do feel free to fire away with questions should you have them. Hey, Skies. Welcome to the stream today. You two, SC Outdoors. Is Alphaman still working, you guys? Yes, he absolutely is. He's uh, working alongside Gary with uh, support issues that you may or may not have. Yep, yep. Shout out to our amazing support team. Thanks, Mac Marvin. Hmm? Hey, just wel welcome, Francesco. <laughs> <laughs> Darren would like an hour to wreck Francesco's head. Uh, be gentle with him. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, he won't come back again. Yeah, not scary, guys. <laughs> an hour of intense questioning. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see Ahmed sometime in stream? He's such a cool guy on the support side. He does not actually work in Stockholm. He works remotely. So, um, unfortunately, it's unlikely to happen, I'm sorry to say. We'll let him know. Oh, I left though. that way too soon. Well, that was a quick changeover. Wow. What range? Well, I got one of them. them. That other one's gone now. 
I dropped one of them, which I was surprised to see. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a chance for new animal weapons or gear in general to be added to Classic? Asked Pavel on YouTube. So if you missed out at the start of the stream, Francesco did say we are actually, we have an animal in the works. No more than that's being said right now, but definitely there is stuff going on behind the scenes here. So, you know, keep your eyes peeled for future streams on our social media, on the forums, etc. And you'll be able to hear about uh, information on new stuff as we announce it. Mm -hmm. Mac Marvin is saying, can we see a new map in the future, please? <laughs> yes, that's one of the... M one of the most requested things are uh, in all ac all across the the community. It's of course and also the biggest thing. <laughs> it is. It is. As I mentioned yeah. earlier, it's a big undertaking. So you know, it's something that we definitely take into consideration. But uh, it requires it requires quite a lot of work, and you know, a, a lot of time mm. to be fleshed out. Did you guys make Just Cause 4? Yes, we did. Yes. So it was the same team. The classic team did not make Just Cause 4, but it was a it part was of the, the Avalanche, uh, Avalanche Studios, Studios family. Yes. Yeah. So, Francesco, what's your favorite map, then? That's a good question. Uh, Redfall Feathers, I think it's one of my favorite maps. Um, mostly because uh, it doesn't have all the vegetation of some other maps, like uh, White Heart Island, or Settlers Creek, uh, or Loggers Point. It's easier to see the animals, so uh, mm -hmm. I usually I usually harvest uh, more of them when I hunt in that map. That's nice. I always find myself going back to White Heart just because it was like the first map I enjoyed when I first played the game, and yeah. Yeah, I have to say that oh, in all the vegetation, in all those plants in White Heart uh, make it look very nice as well. Yeah. Can we mm. get the favorite animal that oh, you like to hunt too? One. Favorite animal, it must be the turkey. The turkey, yeah. yeah. They're nice. Especially, you know, especially ever since we released the new one, uh, I really like to look at them very close with the scope or uh, with a rangefinder before shooting them. Yeah, getting a good look. Yeah, the new skins look amazing. That is so well done. Um, All right, let's get Doggo to go grab some of these ducks. So, Graham, do you know, is, will there be a sale tomorrow? Good question. Uh, bear in mind, I am kind of filling in for Tree Kiwi whilst he's gone. Um, I'll have to check that I out. Can, I can answer that. Yes. Uh, oh, you can, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's completely, yeah, I yeah. put exactly the yeah. person to ask sat next to me. So, Francesco, will there be a sale? Yes, there will be a there sale. Will be. There will be a yeah. sale. Uh, nice. Uh, there will be um, a new uh, official uh, forum contest, and the sale will be tied to the forum contest. Nice. Nice. Great. So, stay tuned. Yeah, you yeah, have something to look forward to. Would we ever get the event like the Halloween event in Hunter Classic? Well, surprise for you, we did have a Halloween event, actually. Yeah, we had a, mm -hmm. we had a very big Halloween event. Yeah, um, it was promoted quite heavily. Maybe he means for Call the Wild. But he did write Classic, so... Mm -hmm, that's true. Yeah. Mm. Talking about the Halloween event. It was awesome with the werewolves yeah. roaming around and that map being all dark with the spider webs and... Mm. Yeah. I have a funny story about werewolves. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you met mm -hmm. one like once? <laughs> 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 I am one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Uh, the day after uh, the day after the release of the, you know, the new Turk and the Waterfall Blinds and everything, so one of the beta testers posted a message on the forum saying, there's a loose wo <laughs> werewolf in Timber <laughs> 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 Yeah, th they oh no. they stuck around a little yeah. while after the event. <laughs> so uh, like, oh, that's yeah. cool, though. Imagine the Damn surprise. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then somebody posted a, a video of meeting a werewolf in a broad daylight. Oh so no! He must have been because you you riding. need to have those special uh, weapons to take it down, right? Mm -hmm. Either the the, the, yeah. the small uh, hand thingy or or the other the big one. Mm. When are we getting dogs and pheasants? Um, you just saw my dog. And pheasants you can find on the other maps. <laughs> I presume you're talking about Call of the Wild, but please remember, 
We're not talking Call of Duty today. If you want those kind of questions, do come to us on Tuesday or check any of our VOD because I guarantee you, Harry, we answer that question every single stream. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We Very do. hot request, that one. Will Pigfoot make a reappearance? If you find him. Yeah, I don't think he left. <laughs> I think it cost a little too much GM, in my opinion. Such a good boy, Gordon, bringing me these ducks. Just didn't bring any treats with me, so I can't reward him, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. My suggestion to that, to the mm, comment of um, Bubble so far, mm. about the items costing a bit too too much GMs, is to to try and um, do missions, you know, perform. Uh, actions within the game that are more rewarding in terms of gems. Mm. I mean, of course, hunting. Uh, when you, when you catch an animal, when you harvest an animal, you get a certain amount of gems. But I think you get the big bucks when you finish missions, and you will notice that you know the more missions you finish in a in a mission set, the more gems you get. Mm. Pro tip: get on the missions. I saw someone said that the the cattails were not showing on their blind. Could it be a graphical setting, mm, or is it? Nope, not that. No. I it's Are you the sure first you have the correct blind that. out? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Not yeah. all the no, not all blinds have yeah. the new vegetation. It's a very specific standalone. Very type true. Of blind. Very true. Yeah. I mean, there are three different types. Only this warm type has cat tail on it. Uh, the one that's called uh, full field mm. that works in Hirschfeld uh, and has uh, uh, corn plants on yeah. it. Yeah, that's a real nice input, Giu. Giu is saying we should make it easier for people to realize we're supposed to earn gems by doing the mission. So m more clear sort of directions mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. hey, do these folks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I agree. And we need, uh, I think, clearer communication. Mm. Have we thought about adding spaniels? My grand had a spaniel that used to drink from the toilet bowl. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see a, a dachshund or something. That would be pretty cool. Swedes, of course, love to use dachshunds uh, in their hunting activities. But yeah, like more more dog breeds would be pretty neat. I mean, even if it was just a skin, like you know, you have the same functionality yeah. as. But I guess it still would be quite a lot of work because they're a different little, uh, models. Pekinese, um, perhaps, or a <laughs> Chihuahua. My last a Apsu, yeah. <laughs> my dog yeah. is a not useful for any useful purpose. Um. Missions would be easier if you could check them in game. I agree. Start new mm. ones and so on. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's something we are exploring as a possibility to to bring more information in the game. Uh, what is the name of the one with the cattails? This is the one that I'm in right now. Uh, what was the exact name of it? Do you remember, Francesco? It's uh, swamp. The real vegetation swamp waterfall blind. Okay, gotcha. So yeah, check in the store for real vegetation swamp waterfowl blind. Oh, hey there, Gundaman. Sup, buddy? Hey, Gunda. Oh, I thought Gunda was there before. Um, well, I just saw him saying mm. hi, so I'm guessing. I didn't see him. We're glad you're here, though. Gunda's always here. Yeah. It's Larry Selex has got a good suggestion. Just buy M's, yeah, like real hunters. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it it doesn't work for us, but Ooh. thanks, Laris. <laughs> that was a bit more of a a, a thick duck. <laughs> and also, yeah, as Gu says, a multiplayer. There's plenty of um, seasoned hunters out there who can also help give you tips and advice, or give you a hand uh, doing missions. Particularly if you have a mission where you need certain setups to pull it off. Again, I mentioned earlier, um, you know, when you need fancy blind setups and things in the beginning, then uh, go check on a multiplayer game and see if there's anyone out who is mm. hosting a game that might have a setup that you can uh, burrow. Although, of course, That's ask true. politely first if they want to join it in the very precise blind that they're in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't come cruising up in your Jeep. Hey, guys! <laughs> this is me. You will not win friends like that. <laughs> But uh, I think that message from Giu, it's, it's 
very good advice for new players. Mm. Uh, you can get help in multiplayer. That's very true. I mean, yeah. even to to make some gyms, even uh, you know, to to start getting a a, a little gems for yourself and buy new items, it helps playing with other players. Mm. That can help you. And as, as a matter of fact, I found the community very friendly. Uh, people are happy to help. Oh yes, we actually got a great engaged community, both for Call of the Wild, but especially for Classic. Oh, good evening from Stockholm. Hey, Mr. Petri, Petri. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, Bo seventy six. Why do you not have sales when you not? Well, when you have sales, why not lower GM price? I answered that back at the start of the stream, so. Feel free to flick back in the VOD and uh, check that out answer again. Turkeys are probably the best gems generator. 31. Nice. Army gaming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is which is nice because I happen to very much enjoy uh, <laughs> shooting turkeys. Did you just stuff that duck? I did. I inst insta taxidermied it from the comfort of my uh, blind here. Because it was so big, or I I have unlimited M's. <laughs> 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 I can I can click it and then sort yeah, through from later. all the turkeys you've been hunting, right? I can right? sort yeah. through later and decide which ones they want. Okay. Can we get a slate turkey call so we can cluck and purr? That'd be pretty cool. So you can uh, you can do like a mini game with it. It'd be like a tar hero. <laughs> <laughs> It would be duck call hero. Mm. More geese species like grey goose. Pontus likes grey goose, don't you, Pontus? That's too fancy for me. I'm more of a Stolichnia guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, more uh, varieties of birds. I mean, mm -hmm. like subspecies of birds is quite sort of a uh, low weight task for us to do compared to others because, of course, it's mostly about the colorization on some of them. Um, or when it's more sort of pertaining to subspecies, let's say. So yeah, I mean, more variety in that respect could be interesting. Quack, 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 quack. That seemed to be working, though. Hey, Mike Miller. Welcome from Texas. I'm not aiming small and missing small. I'm aiming badly and missing bigly. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy there, Mike. Have you seen the petition going around to ban Call the Wild? Really, I hope that doesn't get... Spoiler, it's not going to happen. <laughs> no. I, I think 250 people have signed. Why would anyone yeah. want to ban so that? Uh, because people get bored, apparently. But it's pixels. It's pixels. It's yeah. pixels on a screen. Come but on, guys. Don't worry about that. I mean, no. you know, there is no barrier for entry for putting up random petitions on the internet. No. So it's... I think s somebody from the community launched a counter petition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should do that. To I mean, ban the petition to ban. <laughs> ban the petition to ban banning the world. Yeah. I I think we'd win that one. Mm. Probably. Probably. Why don't you add new animals in the Hunter Classic? That's a very good idea. How do I go to Discord? I have it, but I can't find it in connection to the Hunter. Uh, can one of our lovely folks please put the Discord link in chat? Otherwise, if you just wait a couple of minutes... Um, think oh, no, it's actually... This is on YouTube. Yes. Um, maybe we can uh, fix that. Yeah, Darren just shared it in Twitch. Can you copy that link and stick it in the chat there, Pontus? I am on my way. Thank you. There you go, my friend. You got the Discord link. I'm busy chatting away. I just let this huge flock of ducks pass me by, flying into the sun. Come back. So when you click that link, either you go to the web version of Discord or it will prompt you to join through your Discord client. So that should fix it for you, my friend. Mm. Are you guys from Sweden? Well, Pontus is full Swede. I'm half Swede, half Brit, and this chap in the middle is Italian. So we, we have we have a very uh, mixed Labors, group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the studio is, in fact, yes, based in Sweden. That's mm -hmm. true. Mm. The Hunter 68 wrote, "What about snow geese at White Rhine Ridge?" Mm. I think if, if the snow geese is ever going to make an appearance in Classic, there will be White Rhine Ridge. I think we're doing really well, Shas. How are you? Having a nice day? Quack, quack, quack. I was getting distracted. I was tooting away on my comeback caller when there were no ducks to come, <laughs> come back. I really should use my caller ring as well, rather than using the hotkeys here. 
Have you guys thought of personal daily or weekly challenges Ooh. for gems? Hunt X things, spot X number of things. It's an interesting thought. It is, it is. That will really yeah. make you get in the game every day just to mm -hmm. do that. It would uh, definitely help with coming back to the game, retention rate. And also give people more, you know, daily stuff to do. <laughs> there you go, Francesca. That's a tough question. Do you like Benelli or Beretta more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ducati. <laughs> Ducati. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great answer. They're all three of them are as loud <laughs> as each other, so yeah. <laughs> Still crossing my fingers for Wolverines. Mm -hmm. I've just jumped on the classic train. I've always just played Call of the Wild and I have to say I'm sad I waited so long to try classic. Mm. It is a good game for being around so long and it's it's filled with all these juicy little things that are really, really good. Yes. I mean, you know, classic has ten years of development behind it, so as far as content's concerned, there's just so much to yeah, do. Yeah. And obviously Call of the Wild has only been out Less than uh, less than a quarter of that time. So although Call of the Wild is doing some great progress, still it's gonna take a little while to catch up then. Oh Belden, and your love of the ptarmigan. <laughs> <laughs> are ducks less likely to break in land if you're standing they are actually, straight yes, in the blind? So should, uh, they are. It's a problem when I'm sat there staring at chat for half the uh, session. I'm so used to being on that side yeah. of the fence that I'm always... Uh, yeah, I'm usually yeah. The, the one behind the screen. Yeah. Well, we'll wait here to see if anything comes in. Mixes, please. We're not doing this questions for Call of the Wild today. This is all about the Hunter Classic. So yes. please do uh, come in the same time on Tuesday and we can talk about Call of the Wild with you. Or we got a friend addicted to the game we play often now. It's great. Nice game is always good with friends. Is it possible to turn on the launch screen sound when entering a map? It's really loud. I will agree with you there, Bloomy. It is really loud when you first log in. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Wake up your whole house if you're on speakers. Coffee to go. This is. I took a long break and saw the days. It it is now free to play. Yeah, that's correct. It's been for a while now. I mean, technically, it was always free to play ish, but now it's a lot more open for people who do want to be free players. Back in the past, you really did have to buy if you wanted to sort of break away from the very basics. So now it's definitely um, mm -hmm. now anyone who has an interest can get in and try it out. You can hunt any animals without licenses. Yeah. It has indeed, Hosen, but he said to be on a break, so... Oh my god, Shaz, you got corgi puppies. Six weeks old. Oh, oh my god. I demand video footage of said puppies. Yes. Put it on the forum. Yes. We need it. Do it, Shaz. Is there coming a special variant of the Blazer R8? That's a very specific question. Um, I mean, we do tend to do uh, special variants often in conjunction with new releases. Um, not so frequently we've gone back and done special variants of older stuff, although we have, of course, given some attention in this recent release. So, who knows? We now know you want to see one, at least. So, mm. The chat is only English. Yes, please, uh, coffee to go. We might let you get away with putting one question in either Swedish, Italian, or yeah, Swedish or Italian. Cause that's <laughs> the other. That's the other two languages we have here. Yeah. So, <laughs> if you're really lucky, we'll we'll answer. Yeah. Uh, please, anyone have a fix? It keeps saying not enough space to complete this operation. That sounds like you have a uh, hard disk. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's not there. enough space. Yeah. Maybe look at uh, at uh, clearing that up. Also, just a simple Google of the of the term that you get in the in the warning prompt will probably help you out a lot. Mm. A little hint. Any licenses to add more IRL modeled items like scopes and binos, etc.? 
Are we talking about Vortex here, Darren? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like, obviously we have some real-world brands. Um, yes. So it, it's definitely interesting to do those type of things. Of course, they, they take a lot of work from a licensing perspective, you know, getting their lawyers to talk to our lawyers and our contracts and their contracts. And But it is definitely really cool when we get it to happen, um, having those sort of real-world references that you recognize from uh, real life. Uh, well, not specifically, but I know a guy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I'm having a, a duck drought currently. Is my computer too small? It's a 64-bit. Uh, that shouldn't affect yeah. it specifically. That's not really comparative to what the problem is here. You want to check your hard disk space. Yes. Check your free hard disk space. Any plans to add zoomable binoculars and mm. not just fixed ones in the game? Uh, that's a good suggestion. Mm. And, mm, I know Call of the Wild has zoomable binoculars. So mm. that's, a, that's a good suggestion. Keep the suggestions yeah. coming. We love to see them. Man, it's been a while since I've seen a duck. Indeed. Yes. That are maybe flying south. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Knocked up is saying, can you expand the grizzly bear roaming area so they can be found up in the mountains where the big horn ship hangs out? Mm. I think uh, I think these are you know all reasonable suggestions. Uh, I would suggest, in turn, to mm, if you're not part of the mm, the uh, Hunter Classic forum yet. You might want to sign up, and we have entire threads for suggestions like this about animals, about weapons, uh, about new ideas, and uh, that uh, we always, you know, looking at uh, feedback on all the different channels. But uh, the forum in particular helps uh, in keeping track what mm. in what people want, what people suggest. So my suggestion would be, you know, uh, if you are not in there yet. Um, do sign up and do leave your ideas there because we are looking at them. Yeah, and if you want to get to the forum easily, you can see a nice button in the client when you launch it. So uh, just click on that. It's it a very quick you. process to register and uh, get in there talking to the dev team. And hopefully you can see pictures of Shah's uh, baby corgis. Yes. If we're really lucky. <laughs> Come back. We breed and sell. All right, register Pembroke Welsh Corgis. Oh, that's awesome. Family business right there. Mm. Maybe I can convince my wife to let us have a Corgi when I move back to the UK. Yes. If it's good enough for the Queen, it's good enough for me. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, those ducks were not interested, which is a shame. There was a big old flock that came overhead there. Let's wait for the next, the next ones. Billy Flew saying, man, I love your engine. Oh, that's good. Mm. Does this run on the Apex? This is like old, old Apex. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I mean, Apex as an engine has obviously changed over the years, but it's been there from the very beginning. Um, yeah. Obviously, if you look at its current in iteration with Call of the Wild, oh, yeah, it's big difference. or even Rage 2 or something like that compared to but this. But you do recognize uh, mostly the lightning, I'd say, how mm. that uh, behaves. Is it possible to make things sellable back to the store for such things that aren't needed? I mean, that's always been a, a question that people have had, particularly those who've been paying a long time and have been, you know, making use of bundles in the store and just because they want, you know, maybe four out of the five items on offer or something. Um, you know. That's some really interesting feedback, Hosen. Did you know, Francesco, that, um, uh, that uh, if you play multiplayer on the host, that call seemed to work? The game multiplayer hands. Yeah, it's only uh, the one who hosting which caller is working. It mm -hmm. seems mm -hmm. great input, Hosan. Yeah. No, I didn't know that, but um, but yeah, if that is the case, I'll it's that something that uh, definitely gonna have to look into. Ah, great, 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 great. Moving fast. There we go. Finally, where did the other one go? 
miles away. Oh, did you manage to get one? I got one. Oh, that, that's, <laughs> that's not a duck. That's a bug. Uh, that one's too far okay. away. Yeah. I got one. Well, it's better than it, it was. I, I swear that he was zigzagging. We'll be keeping an eye out for those, Jazz. We will. We mm -hmm. will. Bangalore Bay. I actually been to Bangalore once. I didn't see any bays. It'd be great if you earned <laughs> some GM in multiplayer by having the players automatically play a small amount to the host for each animal killed. Yeah, it takes like a pyramid scheme yeah, type no, thing. Some, yeah. uh, some host tax. Host tax, yeah. yeah. I have enough taxes in real life. I don't want tax yeah. in my video games, yeah, thank no, you. Please, please don't. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what uh, uh, McMarvin meant by Bangalore Bay and uh, host and viewers uh, saying, you mean pick a bean bay? Yeah, that <laughs> makes it more recognizable, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I at the moment you have the sound effects, don't we? So, no, obviously there are lots of improvements mm. you know, that can be brought to a game, as well as new feature and bug fixes. So, the um, our our job is to uh, collect all the ideas, collect all the mm, reports for things that don't work, and try to prioritize what to do first. You know, what's more important what affects most people, what yeah. most people want, you know, uh, in a way that is compatible with uh, deadlines and in, in our ability to, uh, to, to make those changes uh, within a certain time. Sad that I have to leave you. Oh no, I didn't. Please don't go, buddy. See you, I didn't. See you next time. I know you'll be here again, though. Can you make a game option where you can rename your hunter? I mean, historically, as a community manager, I am normally like people to keep the same name because people build up a reputation and it's very easy for less friendly people to sort of hide when you do <laughs> such things. But, I mean, as a sort of um, special request, I think you might be able to contact support and sometimes we can assist, but it's not something we probably want people just to freely do at any time. Charge 100,000 M's for it. Well, if now we're talking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Any plans on a new bundle? Uh, what specifically did you want to see in a bundle there, uh, Gyu? Hi from Brecon Beacons, Wales. Hey, sheep man. Great choice of name there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love Brecon Beacons. I used to go hiking there when I was younger. Um, beautiful place. It's really great. You go to some places and the rain comes vertically. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I got soaked there all, all on a, a fair few times, but it's so nice. Mm -hmm. Bullet stacking. Yeah, this has it's been brought up a few mm. times during this stream and uh, uh, many times in the forum as well. Oh, that's great news, Greg. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, very good. Oh, okay, Igu. So you would like to see the community loadouts like we did in the past. So uh, obviously Francesco's somewhat newer, so we can update you. We used to do uh, competitions where we'd get the fans to suggest their sort of favorite loadout type thing that they might use for hunts. And then we'd pick a winner, and then we'd offer, offer that on the store mm -hmm. as a mm -hmm. kind of yeah, discount. Yeah, I've seen some of them. Ah, all right, that's that's nice. a very good idea. Yes. Well, Garrett, we Garrett. didn't change our scoring system. Yes, thank you for the eloquent feedback. Yes. But um, <laughs> this scoring system has been the same for the last 10 years. Yeah, so. sorry, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's probably referring to another game. I think so. But th now the game is not <laughs> being streamed today, so... I'm going duck hunting and buying a retriever dog. That nice. sounds awesome. Retriever's awesome. So convenient. Yeah. And you, Gordon. Who's a good boy? <laughs> What's the name of your dog, uh, Graham? Gordon. 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 My I real love it. my real dog is called Gordon. Oh. So <laughs> uh, they're long gone. Well, 
One loadout to do it all. 9.3 drilling boy and the 22 ha bow, I presume, and the 22 handgun to clear everything. Yeah, I love a drilling rifle. It's so versatile. And you know I like the bow. You're going to miss me, Carly? Well, I'll miss all you folks too. Well, that is for sure. Except the ones that don't give very nice feedback <laughs> in, in well thought out manners. <laughs> Can you have suppressors? Um, yeah, could be interesting. I mean, balancing things like that are very difficult because. Of course, it is a game, and we don't want you just be able to sort of start mowing down fields of animals. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. They are used in certain countries um, for hunting, like particularly in Scandinavia, it is allowed. Corgi pictures in off topic. Oof. I know what I'm doing straight after the stream. Yeah, me too. I'm going to run up and look at it. Yes. <laughs> Come on, quackers. Yeah, man. They're just gloating at me now, aren't they? It's completely safe. I'm not going to hit any of you. <laughs> We've well got three coming down. Yeah, they broke off. That's... There's something. Oh, did you get three more? Yep, I have. Uh, let's wait for these two to come in. Ah! Oh, no! Nah. I swear it was zigzagging. I swear that that duck was zigzagging yeah, on me. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's the the new feature that Francesco <laughs> didn't tell us about. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's a feature. That's a uh, as a matter of fact, that's one of the best ways not to get shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even in the army, they teach you that. Yeah, yeah. As Darren <laughs> recognized as well, that pintail was definitely flying serpentine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was getting trolled by the duck. Um, uh, Fienica, we did answer that question about team competitions earlier on. I believe we said it'd be pretty cool. Uh, Graham, is Gordon a grumpy boy and that's how he got his name? No, he's lovely. He's super friendly and happy and loves anything human because humans have food. Um, no, but I did name him after a very grumpy Scottish chef. So <laughs> There is, in fact, a shotgun scope, uh, Bloomy. Or am I just making that up entirely? I believe we have a shotgun scope. There's a challenge for you. Yeah. Fight ducks with the 22. You saw me on the last <laughs> duck hunting stream, the 22. I am so bad. Like, worse than with the shotgun. I don't know why I'm doing so badly today, actually. Last stream, I was pretty much on point. Or maybe I'm just a little bit rusty. Yeah, exactly. There is indeed a shotgun scope. What game is this? This is the Hunter Classic. It's free to play. So, uh, if you have a PC and wanted to try it out, you're welcome to go to thehunter.com and... Uh, Check it out there. You can also find it on Steam for download. Yes, do it. Do it, do it. I'll let the, the red dot scope for uh, duck hunting. Sorry? It, it, I, I was mm. I was referring to that question, uh, to that comment about the shotgun scope. Mm. Yeah. So we just got a couple of minutes left, so if you do have any more questions for Francesco, get them in while you can. He's a busy guy, so you might not see him on here every week, so yep, yeah. do yeah. keep those questions coming. Classic for the win. That's true, dog. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. When will be available map like Savannah? Mm -hmm. I, I can tell you that that's one of the most requested new reserves is Africa. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, what animals can you hunt on Classic? Uh, what is the point? Well, the point is hunting. Uh, as far as what you can hunt, it l I cannot list them all. There are so many animals. This is game has 10 years of development behind it, so there is tons and tons to do. I just recommend you go to the website and have a look for yourself, browse through, yeah. and uh, apparently see what you 39 like. species. Currently. Um, What's your guys' top three favorite weapons in the classic? Parker Python, Parker Python, and Parker Python. That's my top three. <laughs> <laughs> I love that bow. Somebody's asking if I like Tom and Jerry. Uh, I like Tom and Hens. Get that. <laughs> Tom and Hens. <laughs> I'm afraid to turkeys. So if you're Italian, uh, okay. Tom is the name for male turkeys, and Hens yes. is, is, is the name for female turkeys. Yes, yes.
Nothing's coming back there. <laughs> Francesco is single-handedly making an Italian Alps map. That's <laughs> what I'm doing? That's why he's so busy, guys. Uh -huh. yeah. Come back from work, I work on the Italian maps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all work, no fun. Turkey's got a remodel. Will any other animals get a remodel? Uh, we'll let you know when yeah. the time might come. I mean, Turkey's, of course, were the most in need of it. They did they did look a bit derpy, bless them. Um, they were starting to show their age somewhat, but... I don't think that it would be crazy that we would go back and maybe give some other models attention, a bit of modernization here and there. Yeah. Okay, that about wraps us up for today. Is it there anything does. else you wanted to say before we disappeared, Francesco? Or uh No, I've seen some mm, Domin is posting uh, mm -hmm. a comment about uh, fixing white outlines when scoped in an ultra-wide resolution. Uh, this is uh, something that we didn't know, so thanks for pointing that out. We'll look into it. Yeah, I can just imagine, like, no one had even had a thought on ultra-wide screens well, when, when, when the game was published. Yeah, when this so was launched, everyone was playing true. on 15-inch monitors. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. It happened a lot since then. Oh, uh, wow. There's Niklas Arberg is asking me if I, if I like Pike Perch. Uh, well, saying that we have ruled out, for the time being, uh, fishing within uh, uh, Classic, uh, I do like, personally, pike perch as a food. Mm. They are tasty. Is it like yes in Swedish? I, I think pike is uh, yadda. Yadda, okay, yes. yeah. Or uh, caviar taxi. Caviar taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I could also say. Great. I'm going to go and look at corgi pictures yeah, now. Yeah, me too. So thank you all for joining. Um, you'll find us and Francesco on the forums, of course. Um, any other questions you might have, social media, anywhere where you can find us with an account, you can ask your questions. Otherwise, we'll be back again next week. And uh, yeah, watch this space for more awesome classic news as Francesco and the team are busy creating more great stuff. Yes. Yes. So thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Bye.